I'm Lori Brown from the American Chemical Society. Welcome to this news briefing from the ACS's 256th National Meeting and Exposition in Boston. We're joined today by Dr. Bonnie Carpenter, who is the ACS president-elect, Dr. Laura McConnell from IUPAC U.S. National Committee, and Dr. Mary Kirchhoff from the ACS. They will be discussing some of the efforts planned to celebrate the International Year of the Periodic Table of Chemical Elements in 2019. Dr. Carpenter? Hello. I would like to welcome everyone. My name is Bonnie Carpenter, and I'm the President-Elect for the American Chemical Society. I'm happy to be here with you today and with my colleagues to talk about our plans for an exciting event next year, the International Year of the Periodic Table of Chemical Elements, or IYPT 2019. I'm going to start by giving a brief overview of how IYPT was developed. Then Laura will speak about IUPAC's plans for IYPT, and Mary will present on ACS activities and initiatives around the 2019 celebration. In December 2017, the United Nations General Assembly approved a proposal to proclaim 2019 as the International Year of the Periodic Table of Chemical Elements. The UN Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, or UNESCO, is tasked with implementing IYPT 2019 and views it as an opportunity to highlight the contributions of chemistry and other basic sciences to the implementation of the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. The celebratory year will build on previous successful science-based international years like the 2011 International Year of Chemistry, which saw several successful cooperations between ACS and IUPAC to celebrate chemistry's contributions to society. We hope to repeat these successes in 2019. You may be wondering why 2019 was chosen for IYPT. Well, it wasn't selected randomly. 2019 marks the 100th 150th anniversary of Dmitry Mendeleev's creation of the periodic table of elements. Although many chemists throughout history have contributed to the periodic table, Mendeleev's version is the basis for the current table that is used all over the world today. But what is so special about the periodic table and why should there be an entire year dedicated to it? The periodic table is an iconic tool that scientists across disciplines utilize. Millions of students are in classrooms at this very moment with posters of the periodic table on the wall. And for many non-scientists, it's one of the most tangible and recognizable connections to the sciences that they have. If anything, a year is not enough time to celebrate. ACS plans to take advantage of this excitement and momentum around IYPT in a variety of ways. We hope that scientific societies, educational institutions, research facilities, Nonprofits and private industry will come together to help share the message of the importance of chemistry and the periodic table. I'll leave it to Mary to speak in greater detail about the exact activities that ACS is planning around IYPT 2019, but suffice it to say, there'll be a lot going on. ACS is happy to be coordinating on IYPT 2019 activities with the U.S. National Committee of IUPAC, 2019 was already going to be an exciting year for IUPAC due to the 100-year anniversary of the organization. Now we're excited to be able to celebrate the importance of the periodic table as well. Here to speak more about IUPAC and its plans for their centenary celebration and IYPT 2019 is Laura McConnell. Thank you so much, Bonnie. Um, Again, my name is Laura McConnell, and I'm proud to say that I'm the chair of the U.S. National Committee for IUPAC, and we are extremely excited to celebrate the upcoming International Year of the Periodic Table and the 100th anniversary of IUPAC. So IUPAC, the International Union of Pure and Applied Chemistry, was formed by a coalition of chemists uh, 100 years ago who saw the need for standardization in chemistry and with the goal of international cooperation between chemists. And IUPAC um, continues to set standards for weights, measurements, names, and symbols that have now become universally accepted. Uh, the organization still strives to increase um, international cooperation of chemists while also promoting chemistry and global issues. 
So I think I speak for all IUPAC leadership when I say that we're honored that UNESCO has designated us as the primary organizer of IYPT 2019 activities. IUPAC and UNESCO will kick off the year uh, in 2019, early 2019 with an opening ceremony at UNESCO headquarters in Paris on January 29th. We will also celebrate Mendeleev's birthday with a ceremony in Russia on February 7th. And there will be many different events held throughout the year, such as a fun online quiz called the Periodic Table Challenge, uh, a global networking breakfast entitled Empowering Women in Chemistry that will take place in more than 30 countries on February 12th. And uh, the Periodic Table of Younger Chemists, which is already underway. The centerpiece of the IUPAC centenary celebration will be the World Chemistry Congress in Paris in July. Thousands of chemists will come together to share the science and demonstrate the value of the I in IUPAC and participate in the World Chemistry Leadership Initiative. The IUPAC General Assembly will also convene a plan for the IUPAC second century. So as I mentioned, some events are already underway uh, including the monthly announcements of new additions to our periodic table of younger chemists, which began in July 2018 and will um, uh, finish in July 2019 with the final four elements being revealed. In partnership with the International Younger Chemist Network, we will be honoring a diverse group of 118 outstanding younger chemists from around the world who embody the mission and core values of IUPAC. So far, 12 elements have been awarded, representing scientists from 10 different countries. And we thank ACS for partnering with us to reveal the next four elements tomorrow at 9 a.m. Um, here at um, Boston. And I know that um, ACS has many wonderful activities also planned for next year. So I'd like to turn this over to Mary Kirchhoff to speak about ACS plans for IYPT 2019. Thank you, Laura. Good morning, I'm Mary Kirchhoff. I'm Executive Vice President for Scientific Advancement at the American Chemical Society. ACS has been working hard to plan many events and activities for 2019 to celebrate the International Year of the Periodic Table. We plan to engage our members and the public through a variety of in-person events, online outreach, and campaigns to get both scientists and the general public excited about the periodic table. ACS is focusing our plans for our live events around our biannual national meetings, which attract tens of thousands of attendees every year. Last night, we kicked off IYPT 2019 with a preview party as part of the ACS International Activities Committee welcome reception. And you can see photos from the IYPT-themed photo booth on the ACS Facebook and Twitter accounts. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., there will be an IYPT presentation at the ACS Theater in the Expo Hall at the Boston Convention Center, which will include both ACS and IUPAC presenters. This event will be broadcast via Facebook Live, so if you can't make it in the morning, you can view it later on the ACS Facebook page. Of course, our 2019 national meetings will have numerous periodic table-themed events with specific groups highlighted at each national meeting. At the spring meeting in Orlando, Florida in April 2019, we will feature students' work in celebrations of the periodic table. And in August, when we meet in San Diego, we will highlight the achievements of our international members and programs. At these conferences, we'll have numerous IYPT 2019-themed symposia, events, contests, and activities. And we'll also have IYPT represented at ACS regional meetings, as well as international events throughout the year. If you can't travel to an ACS event, there'll be plenty of opportunities to celebrate IYPT with your local ACS section, international chapter, chemistry club, or student chapter. We'll also be utilizing online channels to communicate important events and announcements for IYPT 2019. To help interested participants stay up to date on the latest news and events throughout the year, ACS has launched a website www.acs.org slash IYPT to offer news, fun facts, and resources on how to celebrate the periodic table. 
You can sign up for email updates, and we are promoting the hashtag, hashtag IYP2019, for everyone to share on social media platforms. We'll also be hosting webinars throughout the year to encourage educators to incorporate more information about the periodic table into their curricula. Through its website, ACS will offer IYPT branded items such as the IYPT theme calendar for 2019 and the popular ACS Member Get a Member program, which rewards ACS members who recruit new members with a periodic table blanket, will have a special edition of this blanket next year with an IYPT theme design. These are just a few of the examples of the activities that ACS has planned for IYPT 2019. We're still finalizing our plans and we're looking forward to feedback from our members at the national meeting as well as throughout the year as we move forward. ACS is very excited about the opportunities presented by IYPT and we hope to see broad participation in these and other celebrations next year, not only from our members, but across the global chemistry enterprise. I'll turn it back to Lori. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, Mary, Laura, and Bonnie for your comments today. Uh, so we'll, we'll take questions now. Um, I would like to ask anyone that has a question to please state your name and affiliation. Doug Dollamore of the American Chemical Society. Um, I was a little shocked yesterday when I uh, was talking to a bartender and uh, she didn't realize that chemistry was a part of everything. I'm, I'm wondering what do you hope um, uh, people will um, learn uh, about the, uh, the, uh, uh, the periodic table and, uh, and how that will alter their perceptions of chemistry? Well, thank you, Doug. Uh, well, <laughs> I'll make a stab at this and invite others to chime in. I, I think this is an ongoing problem, as you well know, in terms of the public perception of chemistry. One thing about the periodic table is that it does get people's attention. Everybody recognizes it, even if they don't know how to use it. So once you have their attention, then you can convey the excitement and the interest. In this case, some of the history, recent as well as the development of it that I think can catch people's imagination. When you have them engaged with that, then you can start conveying the messages of how chemistry is a part of their everyday life. Um, there's some student groups who've already done some pretty amazing displays of the periodic table just in, in the line of what they do for outreach to the public, uh, dressing up as elements, talking about how the elements play out in everyday um, everything that everybody touches and uses. So I think it gives us an opportunity to provide those messages in, an, in a forum where we already get their attention. So I, I would say that um, this IYPT event has made me think as a chemist much more about what it is that the periodic table really means. And I think just the two-dimensional table doesn't really give you the picture of how important it is. Um, you know, it's the elements are the basis for our entire universe. And so um, I think that it shows a connection between the various sciences uh, because the elements are critical for all different types of science, not just chemists. And so I'm hoping that people can see that connection um, not just in their their food, for example, their water, but also um, uh, exploration of the universe. Um, you know, chemist, uh, chemistry is so important um, with the exploration of, of different planets. And um, so I think it just uh, really can be uh, mind expanding to think about the importance of the periodic table. And I think it's very important, uh, as Bonnie alluded to, to put chemistry in context. That's not just the name of an ACS te <laughs> textbook, but it's also a philosophy. Um, and one of the things that the most recent version of that textbook does is it introduces the periodic table through what's in your cell phone. There are so many elements in your cell phone. And bringing the periodic table down to a, a level that people can understand what a critical 
part of their daily lives it is, that everything that they use and touch is based on chemistry. And I think as chemists, we need to do a better job of effectively communicating the role that all of those elements in that chart hanging on the wall play in daily life. Thank you. I see that we have a question from online. Um, this is Katie Cottingham from ACS, actually. Um, I was just wondering if there were specific uh, resources for teachers aside from the webinar that are going to be offered. Um, I would say a lot of the resources that ACS already offers are relevant to the uh, International Year of the Periodic Table. And so um, just going to you know, acs.org slash education will provide teachers with a lot of access to those. But I think one of the things that we can do for next year is look at our existing resources and identify how they can fit in with the IYPT theme, and in addition, figuring out where they can fit into the curriculum because that will make it much easier for teachers to use them in their classroom if we can help them identify that by teaching these various concepts related to the periodic table, they're also meeting their, their state standards for education. Okay, thanks. Any additional questions? This is Laura Cassidy with ACS, and I have more of a scientific question. Just out of curiosity, when was the last uh, element added to the periodic table, and do new elements continue to be added today? There have been four elements added recently to the periodic table within the last couple of years. I don't know the exact date that it was announced, um, but yes, uh, there are new elements being added. So. Um, it's still possible that we could have at, uh, additional elements added. All uh, right. Ju oh, just to pile on a, a little bit, I think one of the fun things about the periodic table is understanding the history and where the newer identifications are and how sophisticated that is and think about the history of how some of these elements were originally identified and the power of the construct of the table so that it could predict elements that were not yet identified and the table was actually filled in because of the predictive power of the table. So I think the lessons of history and especially those early elements of how did you find out what this is and how many things were in a rock um, is, is very intriguing, especially for students, even elementary school students, of how do you know that? How did people figure it out? Which I think is also a very powerful message. Okay. Uh, if there are no more questions, then I think that we'll wrap up. Thank you to all of our speakers. Um, the archived version of this session will soon be posted at bit.ly slash ACS Live underscore Boston 2018. Please join us for our next press conference at 1 p.m. today on how maple leaf extract could nip skin wrinkles in the bud. Thank you. <laughs>